heart attack Fast fatal heart impact Past painful scars In fact, I blast tasteful bars And past I back up my actions Fact, don't ask Grab reactions Jack attack with every word Then act with class As they hear me snap I got nothing to lose Cause I fought and felt the bruise Now I'm not the one confused Call the shots and they produce I ain't lost, I'm finally loose Pick a new so urge juice I need the views to boost me To a new abuse of being used Everybody wants a piece now Y'all can rest in peace now You're dead to me, so peace out Remember you're discreet now Get ready for defeat Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kirusho here, and now, I am going to attempt to record this video. If you guys are seeing it, then that means that I'm at least trying to put out more content. I've been bored out of my mind since I haven't been able to record in a few days, so I'm going to attempt to get this one out since my coughing hasn't really been going on a lot today. Now, let us begin. Whenever we last left off, Deku, Melissa, and All Might, they've all sent different copies of themselves into the Land of the Dead in order to try and find the angel or the goddess. Now, Along with that, Merlin, she is very unsure about the goddess. She's been around on Earth for a very long time. In all that amount of time, she has never once sensed more magical power. There are faint traces of it in every single living creature. Animals and humans. However, the goddess is different. She's not had anything like that pop up before, especially divine magic. Now, this predicament is very, very annoying. Since if Meliodas gets his hands on her, there's no telling what the future will hold. Now, with that being said, we will cut to Midoriya and everyone a few days later. Today is the day of the final exams. Midoriya, he is leaving his apartment, along with Deanne. As soon as they actually do leave, Midoriya locks the door and then heads to the elevator. Getting inside and pressing the button down. So, did Merlin ever tell you about anything? Hmm? Oh, uh, no, not really. <sighs> In fact... Midoriya says, stretching his arms over his head. He has not gotten a single word back from her in a minute. Now, as he does say that, the elevator door opens. Midoriya going to walk out, before realizing that they're on the 10th floor. And Melissa is standing in front of him. Hmm? Oh, uh, sorry guys, I didn't realize you guys were already using this one. Hmm? Oh, no, we're fine. Uh, are you heading somewhere, Melissa? Uh, yeah, sort of. I kind of need to go grocery shopping, then go out for clothes. Melissa listing off other things. Midoriya pressing the button down once again. As the doors close, they continue a conversation. Melissa is very thankful that Midoriya is at least lending out some money for her at the moment. She's been able to get some furniture in that apartment and at least a little bit of clothes. Her going on to talk about how she does actually want to learn more about magic, but right now, she's got her own little list of things to do. Doria and Deanne leaving for UA. As Melissa, she heads her own way. Now, with that being said, they do arrive at UA, and they find that Ochako is actually a little bit early. So that explains why she didn't get in the elevator with them, wanting to learn a little bit more. Now, everyone is informed of today's specialized training in class. Everyone is going to be fighting a teacher in the final exams. Some students 
they seem a little bit, well, scared. Or at least intimidated. Meanwhile, you do have Bakugo, who actually does at least stand up, going on to shout, Hell yeah. Now things just got a little bit more interesting. Todoroki going on to speak up that Bakugo should calm down. Come on, half and half. You gotta admit, with all of our training that we've been going through, even we could beat them. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't put it out of the idea. Midoriya at least speaking up. What Midoriya says breaks the silence and kind of intimidates a lot of people. So, Mr. Aizawa, who's facing All Might? Hmm? Aizawa going on a state to Midoriya exactly what makes him think All Might is going to be participating. All Might's the combat instructor. He's a teacher at the school. And from what I understand from you and some of the other teachers, he's supposed to teach us. Isn't that correct? Besides, if he's not here, he should not be out doing hero work. Or is he taking a day off? Not using his time properly, am I right? Hmm. You know, you are very irritating. But you do have make some good points. Hmm. It's because I don't just drag my feet. I cut straight to it. Hmm. <sighs> yes, All Might is participating. However, as for who is fighting him, I do not know. Go get changed into your hero suits, and then all of that will be figured out. Now, with that being said, everyone does actually leave. In the boys' locker room, quite a lot of people are talking, and some are intimidated. Mineta is freaking the hell out. If he has to face off against All Might or Eraserhead, he might fail his final exam. Meanwhile, you do have Deku, Todoroki, and Bakugo, along with Hiroshima. Each one of these guys do at least seem to be a little bit calmer. Tokoyami pointing that out. Hmm? Oh. Well, with my quirk, it'd be easy to take all my down. Plus, I can't die. So, hmm. If All Might does go all out against me, I want to say it probably wouldn't end very well. Hmm. Yes, but why is Bakugo so... What are you going to say, asshole? Are you going to... You got something to say? Finish your sentence. Now. As Bakugo continues to scream at Tokoyami, Midori actually does butt in. Telling Bakugo that Tokoyami is not wrong. Hmm? The hell do you mean by that? Think about it, Bakugo. You're fighting against All Might. You know his quirk. Hmm? Of course I do. Oh. So do you mind enlightening me as to what it is? It's something that has got to do with wind. And with my explosions, I'm pretty sure I can just take him down. No, Bakugo, it's not. Hmm? Everyone's staring at Midoriya for a second. Karashima a bit on edge. Uh, I, I think we should just all go outside right now, guys. Come on. Mr. is probably going to get very angry. Bakugo kind of confused. Really? So what is All Might's quirk? Think about it like this, Bakugo. You know whenever I take enough strength from somebody? Doria says beginning to use Hunter's Vest. Bakugo beginning to feel weakened, trying to stay on his feet. Doria is saying that he tries to do some, simply one thing. Bringing up his arm and sh showing off that his, that his right bicep is at least stronger and looks more... Well, it, it looks bigger. Going on to state that All Might's power allows him to probably buff up, right? Or at least requires a shit ton of muscle. So, it's probably an enhancement ability. 
Huh? Enhancements? Yeah. Sort of like, uh, my Hunter's Fest. Probably? I don't know. But it would make sense. As for that whole wind pressure thing, I don't know. He might have two quirks? It would make sense. Todoroki going on a state that it would make sense for as to why he's able to stay ahead of his father. Hmm. All Might has two quirks. Wind pressure and enhancement? Him, completely at least, going off of the subject of Tokoyami. This being on his mind as he does actually walk out of the locker room. And everyone else does join the rest of the class outside. Now, Kirishima and Deku are paired up to face off against All Might. Meanwhile, for everyone else, everyone who was taken out of their spot in canon is replaced, with possibly one of the girls or simply just another, well, guy from Class 1A. Let's see. The Sugar Rush guy and the Dupla Arms guy. I want to say that would possibly be Kendo and Bakugo going up against, I believe, the Cementos. Todoroki and Momo would stay the same. Mina, Kaminari, that would probably be the same. Uh, let's see. Basically, everything would be somewhat similar to canon. The, pairing, the, the pairings that do not have the students that have been replaced are still the same. The students that have been replaced would be filled up, would have their place taken up by a Class 1B member, who is in Class 1A, or probably Toga. Now, speaking of that, let's get back to Deku and Kirishima. Now, Deku and Kirishima are directly out front, waiting and actually beginning to talk a little bit. Karashima asking Midoriya, why exactly did you say that about All, Ma about All Might? Hmm? Ah, don't worry. Not a lot of people know about you. Hmm? No, a lot? What did I say? Listen. Besides, you know about my whole magical thing. So, I'm not sure why your little secret about being All Might's successor would be too important. Because if someone knew that a quirk could be passed down, they'd probably freak out. And if people knew that magic existed, they'd probably freak out too. Kirishima, have you ever seen an actual giant? Seen an actual fairy? Seen an actual demon? No? Ah, well, I'm two out of three. And, with Mount Lady and, basically, Kendo, I want to say that it might not be too far off. Kendo? Uh, what do you mean by that? Hmm. Don't worry about it. Anyways. So I think you should just tell everyone. Hell. It'd be a lot better than just hiding your little secrets. And you should tell everyone in Class 1A. Hmm? That I'm immortal? Yeah, no one's gonna believe me. Hmm. Alright, man. Worth a shot. Now, these two walk into the city. As All Might immediately rushes them. Karashima turns up to 60 to 70% of one for all. With All Might's injury, he said that he could only use 70%. So... This means that he might actually have a fair chance. Along with Midoriya here, yeah, they they might be able to win. Now, as Kirishima does actually have this thought go through his head, All Might immediately rushes them, directly appearing in front of Kirishima. Him, surprised and caught off guard. Midoriya is spinning around and going to try and throw a kick. As All Might pulls his arm backwards, smashing Midoriya directly in his nose, sending him flying away. Midoriya getting sent flying through a couple buildings, as Kirishima gets punched directly in his arms. 
His footing was at least stable enough. Kirishima goes sent, gets sent sliding backwards at high speeds, as he does actually smash through a wall before trying to rush back and forwards. Shit, what the, he what the hell? He was never this fast before. Hmm. Young Kirishima. I don't believe it is, well, proper for me to hold back against you. Along with that, I'm not going to be going easy on you. No, that this is a very serious battle. Along with that, All Might spinning around and dodging. As Midoriya did actually send out, or at least try and use, this little new ability. Whatever is going on with his body and his quirk, his magic, and his DNA. Midoriya tries to send out a large slash of this weird purple aura. Not only did it get sent flying through the ground, it completely slashed through it like a line. And All Might was able to dodge out of the way. Before a target, or at least it hit something and it just exploded, destroying the object. Hmm. Well, that is a new one. Hmm. Midoriya rushing in. As he begins to try and use Hunter's Fest. Now, All Might. He's aware that Midoriya's quirk doesn't care about friendly fire, or his magical ability. And he quite simply just uses wind pressure and uses his arms, throwing them out behind him before he smashes them out forwards. A large sound wave. This being set directly in front of Midoriya's face. As All Might literally blows out Midoriya's eardrums, along with the wind pressure cutting into his eyes, before All Might just launches Midoriya high up into the air, with a mighty punch. As soon as he does that, he does actually spin around and begin to fight with Kirishima. With the amount of, well, strength behind that punch, Midoriya should be fairly, fairly high up into the air, and might not come back down for a little bit of time. Meanwhile, Kirishima and All Might. Kirishima actually does rush towards All Might at 70%. As soon as he does, he actually does harden his hand as the two connect fist. Everyone watching as the shockwaves from that single punch blow apart the windows in every single building for an entire block around. Kind of shocked. Kirishima asking All Might a question What the hell? When did you get this strong? Hmm. <laughs> Young man, I am fighting like I am in my prime. Your prime? But that's not possible. Did... Hmm. All Might giving a little bit of a wider grin. Kirishima realizes that Midoriya, he's been helping All Might too. Oh crap. All Might being able to use his other arm and immediately throw it outwards, buckling Kirishima's arm before grabbing him and throwing him over his shoulder. As soon as he does that, Midoriya, he's up in the air. He's finally come to, still going up high. Huh. I wonder how high I'll go. As Midoriya thinks that, an airplane passes by him. Oh, that's not good. Midoriya is spinning back around and looking down. As he actually does begin to think up, of a, think up of a strategy, well up in the air. Soon he begins to fall. And there's his idea. All Might won't let him use his quirk. So let's try Critical Overdrive. If he can use Critical Overdrive, then that means that this will be a lot easier. Along with that, probably the clones. Hmm. Actually, that works better. If he doesn't know which one's the real me, then he can't send me flying again. Not without risking... the city. Or at least hurting Kirishima too much. Now, Azuria says that he begins to create clones in the air. And, get ready. Critical Overdrive is going to quickly begin to train his magic. So once he gets on the ground, he needs to make sure that he does it. 
and if he can, he might be able to also use his quirk. Along with that, he just thinks. Now, Midoriya, he eventually does hit the ground, as All Might and Karashima are fighting through and destroying an entire city block, throwing each other through buildings and smashing through them. Along with Karashima, quite simply, at least getting a couple good hits in against All Might. For a second, everyone in class 1A thought these two were on par with each other. Along with that, Karashima actually began to use his own magic, hardening his own body more. However, this is different from the steel magic, or the, well, S-T-E-E-L magic, not Deku steel magic. I just now realized those two have the same pronunciation. I'm still talking. Anyways. Now, Karashima actually does begin to use this magic, and All Might does notice a little bit of differences in Karashima. For one second, he seemed to be easy to punch through, and knock around. Then he got a lot harder, and he actually began to wear down All Might's knuckles. Now, Midoriya eventually does come rushing in. As soon as he does, All Might is surprised. As soon as Midoriya does come rushing in, All Might goes to throw up a punch. As soon as he throws a punch out at Midoriya, Midoriya immediately gets blown apart. Before, All Might is caught by surprise, something leaping onto its back, and immediately wrapping his arm directly around his neck. Midoriya, he has All Might's in a chokehold, informing him that that's not going to work. All Might trying to flex his muscles and get Midoriya off. As soon as All Might does actually flex his muscles at 100%, Midoriya gets sent flying away. The arms that were wrapped around his neck, they fall to the ground. And Midoriya is sent flying away and into pieces. Another Midoriya grabbing onto All Might and jumping onto him. All Might fighting off, fighting off against these doubles and... Karashima. Karashima is able to get a couple good hits in. And so is Midoriya. However, we do have the real one. Midoriya gets ready, channeling all of his magical power along with his quirk. As soon as he actually does come running in, he says the words with a large amount of passion behind them Critical Overdrive! As soon as he says that, he immediately begins to get bigger, and a lot buffer. His hero suit does begin to tear. The sleeves of it, along with the actual shirt, and the leggings on his pants, or the legs of his pants. But I being able to jump onto All Might and actually knock him around, punching him directly in the side of the head and in his ear. As soon as he did do that, he actually grab All Might by, well, the back of his face and slam his head down directly onto his knee. As soon as he did that, he was able to actually wrap his hands around All Might's neck. All Might completely shocked and at least discombobulated. Karashima being able to actually jump in. As soon as he does throw up his arms, and rush at All Might, trying to throw a punch, he gets sent away with a mighty kick. This kick being at 100%. All Might being able to break Karashima's left arm, as he sends him flying away. Now, Karashima gets sent flying away, as he does actually smash into a building again. As soon as he does smash into it, the building does actually begin to collapse. All Might turning and noticing this, watching as this building does actually fall before it slides over and hits the building across the street. All Might showing a little bit of concern, as Midoriya punches him directly across the face, dislocating his jaw. All Might swiftly turning and punching Midoriya directly across his own face. However, Midoriya didn't get sent flying. He was stabilized. Midoriya actually using his quirk. 
as for the first time, everyone can actually see the energy, or this strange thing. Midori is properly using his quirk. The purple mist around his body begins to at least wrap around and seem to slither around All Might's arms and legs. Before Midoriya actually does at least reveal to All Might one single thing. As he actually does pull his hands down. And All Might, his arms, get sent flying up into the air. All Might being pulled along with them. As soon as Midoriya does that, he just simply begins to wave All Might around. Before smashing him through a couple of buildings and actually smashing him over and over again to the ground. Before, quite simply, with all of his strength, just being just spin All Might over and over again. Someone in the command deck or the observation deck simply just laughing it off. Denki saying that he's spinning him, <laughs> he's spinning him around like a yo-yo. Now, with that being said, Midoriya actually does eventually let go, sending All Might flying. However, before he did, he let out a bit more of this energy. Everyone watching as All Might when he gets sent flying, the purple chain begins to barrel towards him. All Might looking at his wrist and trying to get rid of whatever this is. As soon as All Might does hit the ground, there's a loud explosion. Midoriya running over to the building and trying to check on Karishima. And he does, he does find him. However, as he's pulling the rubble away, a strange thing does come out of it. A black whip actually does stab Midoriya straight up through his torso. Midoriya does get sent flying upwards into the air. As Karishima does stand up, confused for a second. Karishima, thinking that this might be a magical instance, shouting for Midoriya to help him out. Now, Midoriya is not too sure what to really do. However, then Merlin's voice does come through his head. Midoriya. Hmm? Merlin? Yes. That is not a magical occurrence. It seems to be biological. Possibly based on the quirk he has. Now, with that being said, I believe it runs off of an emotional stimulus. And he might be freaking out. So, please take care of him. Along with that, there's also another matter. The duplicates that we sent to the land of the dead. They have not found anything. They have also returned. Many of them have been, well, destroyed. You killed them? No. Not many of them had very much thought put into them. However, the ones that did, they would like to speak with you, Melissa and All Might. They have a few things they would like to say. Now, with that being said, Midoriya, he just does one thing. He grabs onto the whip and just begins by letting it impale him. Midoriya running through it. As soon as he does, Midoriya just is able to get directly in front of Karashima. Telling Karashima to turn off his quirk. Hmm? I'm trying. I turned off my other quirk, but I can't do this one. Okay, that makes it simpler. What? Midoriya bringing his hand up before directly jabbing Karashima in the neck. Karashima passing out. Now, as that does actually happen... Midoriya picks up Karashima and begins to carry him towards the exit. Now, Midoriya is able to actually toss Karashima towards the exit and he's able to get out. As for Midoriya, he does actually turn around, surprising and confusing everybody. Midoriya, hmm? Yes, Mr. Aizawa? You must escape, escape the city, or take down the opponent. Right now is the best chance you have for success. You do not have a lot of time left. I'm well aware, but it's not every day you can fight the number one hero. Hmm? 
You are going to fail my class, Zuku Midoriya. No, I'm not. I'm going to try and make this quick. Hmm. I don't believe that that will be possible. I recommend you exit the city now. As Mr. Aizawa begins to try and tell Midoriya, this is the best chance he has. Taking down All Might is not on the table. Midoriya bring up his hand and pulling this piece out of his ear, crushing it. Aizawa losing contacts. Everyone watching Midoriya face off against All Might. All Might does rush in once again, and Midoriya does one single thing. The way All Might reacted last time. Let's see. Midoriya dodging the same way. As soon as All Might does actually try and throw his arm backwards against Midoriya, Midoriya is able to dodge it. All Might throwing it out forwards and the wind pressure at least cutting into Midoriya's hero outfits. And into his body. Midoriya actually grabbing All Might's arm and throwing his legs up. As soon as he does, All Might is kind of surprised. As soon as Midoriya did do that, All Might thought he was going to try and put his arm in a hold. However, it was just the exact opposite. Midoriya was able to swing around. He grabbing All Might by his forearm, swinging around, and actually being able to get onto All Might's back again. Using critical overdrive once more. This time, however, Midoriya also does activate Hunter's Fest. His entire tactic. As he uses both these quirks, All Might begins to feel his power draining. No longer at 100%. Now, as soon as All Might does actually fall onto his knee, Midoriya, he gets to just straight to work. Putting All Might into a chokehold once more, and telling All Might to give out. Say the words. Now, All Might doesn't say the words, trying to fight back against Midoriya. Being able to actually throw his hand up and try to hit Midoriya or grab him. Even try and rip his head off, since that actually is an option on the table. However, Midoriya begins to use Hunter's Fest more. And, as Midoriya is actually using this ability, he's actually digging one of his legs in All Might's back. Breaking a little bit of ribs in a few of them along with actually grabbing All Might by one of his arms and twisting them whenever he tried to grab him by his head. All Might screaming out in pain. Everyone in class 1A shocked. As Midoriya chokes out All Might. Eventually All Might does pass out, after about a minute, or at least a minute and a half if I believe I'm correct about that. Afterwards, he drops on my own to the ground, and begins to walk away. As the cuts and bruises on his body begin to heal, Midoriya passes the gate, and checks on Kirishima, grabbing the piece out of his ear before just simply putting it on. Hmm. Alright, Mr. Aizawa, what were you saying? Hmm. Of course you had a tr- of course you had a strategy. However, why didn't you share your strategy with Kirishima? Hmm? Ah, it's a bit cheaty. He never would have gone with it. Besides, call it greedy. But, he wants a fair fight. However, that strange thing he did. Do you know what that is, Mr. Aizawa? Hmm. I do not believe I do. It was strange. Then again, all these kids in my class are strange. Kendo. She's able to harden her body. Ochako is able to actually show off the fact that she can increase gravity. Yayorozu. Actually, there's that thing Yayorozu and Kendo have in common. Strange. Is there a possible relation? Hmm. Uh, anyways. Seems like all the kids in this class have passed. Should expect nothing less from you future heroes. Now. With that being said, I do believe that I can leave this part off of here. And I do 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Now.